check this out guys I just have to film this I'm so excited my package finally arrived from Japan it took a few weeks you can see if you cover up my address um, EMS from Japan shipped it and I think you guys can already imagine what's in here from the title everything is packed extremely well um, I can't wait to rip into this hopefully this will fit finger crossed so this is a struck brace or struck bar for M35 for M35 Stagia. I'm not sure if the uh, Americans got Stagias, but uh, the Aussies and New Zealand Japanese they all got Stagias. Fingers crossed it'll fit. Without further ado, I'll unwrap this and then have a look. There it is. For the ones that doesn't know, this is a very small company called. Dolphins. They actually make parts for uh, station wagons like Stagias, uh, Outbacks, cars like that. So I think it's a pretty unique little brand. You guys know me, I like different stuff. It's not a game, it's a red Check this out guys, I'm so excited. At the start, the bottom part is flipped and I was panicking because it wouldn't wouldn't fit on the truck tower. Um, and I was like, oh, this is not gonna fit. Uh, the stage one must be different. But no, I flipped it and it fits like perfect. With this side, what you need to do is you will have a brace like that, that is holding your AC line as well as these two clips are for the um, um, these two wiring harness so you have to do is there is a 10mm bolt um, right here close on here and then there's another 10mm bolt uh, that is going through like here and here clamping on the um, the AC line so what you have to do is just undo these two 10mm uh, which is right here and then just catch just slightly bend that over so you can maneuver this out and then this bar will fit perfectly now the only issue is as you guys can see there are hardly no space so um, I have a Motordyne 516 Planum spacer what I might have to do I'll tie I'll torque that down and then see if it touches. If it touches, I might have to put like a one mil spacer on each side so I can just space it up just that slight bit so I don't have fitment issues. But I'm so excited guys. You know how long I've been trying to find this piece. You can see it is slightly rubbing on my plenum since I've got a plenum spacer. Uh, you can see on the bottom it is under rubbed um, quite a bit on a stroke bar. What I'm thinking is I might have to put a little spacer on the bottom of the, you know, the, I don't know what you call it, like the bracket thing, so I space it out a little bit so it wouldn't be rubbing on the plenum. And another thing is my oil cage can needs to be moved. Now I still don't know where I should move it to. Um, I don't have brackets for it because before I just zip tie it to my firewall. So if you guys have good ideas, please let me know where you can uh, bolt the oil catch can to, like brackets and stuff. Unless I have to make my own bracket. There are two holes on the back, allowing for like the catch can to bolt onto somewhere, but please let me know. Alright guys, so everything is put back together. Um, I just hide the catch can over, over there, because I couldn't find it better spot for it but other than that it's pretty good and I can be honest with you guys I can feel a huge difference um, with the struck bar uh, obviously I have the sway bar the Nismo sway bar if you haven't seen that video go back to my last video and watch that um, I have the BC coilover camber arms Diff brace, all that good stuff that makes the chassis feel really stiff, as well as like, uh, as well as the struck brace, as well as the chassis brace, 
uh, if you haven't watched that five dollar chassis breeze video go back watch that as well um, but yeah this makes this car feel so predictable predictable and just like a square box on rails riding on rails um, so with that being said I'm really happy with this mod I'm just using a bit of uh, what do you call it aluminum polish to polish the bar up you can see noticeable difference quite a bit you can see over here it's almost like mirror finish and then if you come over here it's pretty dull looking so I'm gonna finish that up all right all polished up looking real good I hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah check out my other videos I've got plenty of G35 videos on my channel hope you guys like this video without further ado I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for that. Next one is gonna be super helpful for all of you guys, all of the 50Z G35 guys. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video.